You see, the theories behind historical bloodletting practices were steeped in a worldview that gave great importance to the balance of bodily fluids. In fact, ancient physicians believed that illness stemmed from an imbalance in what they called the four humors, blood, phlegm, yellow bile, and black bile. However, it was the Roman physician Galen who amplified the role of blood, asserting it was essential for health. As a result, bloodletting became a standard treatment for everything from fevers to headaches, with patients losing significant amounts of blood in the process. But by the late 1800s, scientific advancement began to unravel these ancient beliefs, revealing bloodletting as more harmful than helpful. Today, while the practice has largely disappeared, it still serves a purpose in very specific medical conditions, showing just how far we have come. So, next time you hear about bloodletting, remember, it was once a common belief that cutting the skin could cure you, but in reality, it often did more harm than good.